Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you the integration between, uh, between ServiceNow and Azure DevOps. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at servicenow.com or log into our existing account. As you, uh, if you're familiar with ServiceNow, uh, you probably discovered that the only way how we can make this integration work is through third-party app. So we are going to use ultimate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And once we are here, we want to go to the top corner of our screen, click on integrations, and then back to see all categories. Once we are at app integrations, we want to go and uh, pick the first app that uh, we need to integrate, which will be ServiceNow. Since uh, we integrated ServiceNow, now we have to pick the counterpart for this job, which will, which will be Azure DevOps. Straight away, once we click uh, continue, uh, we are redir redirected to popular integrations, as you can see here. So there are some like ad work uh, item in Azure on a new record in ServiceNow. Uh, but if we won't be able to uh, find the application that we are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, you want to start with, uh, with uh, ServiceNow. So I'm going with the first one. And on the opposite side, on the other hand, you want to go with Azure. So let's go like this. The last thing we have to do to make this integration work is press Try It Now button. Uh, we get redirected to sign up page. Just it takes a while, obviously. And the last thing we have to do, we have to log in or register to our automate.io uh, account. And once we do that, we are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use Zapier.com, which is very similar app to ServiceNow. Oh, I'm sorry, to Automate. And once we create an uh, account here, we want to go to the top left corner and we want to create Zap. Once we created, uh, once we clicked on Create Zap uh, button, we want to start with the trigger, same as at Automate. So we want to write down ServiceNow. Now we need to pick a trigger. There's only one option. And now we have to sign in to your ServiceNow account. On the second action underneath the trigger, obviously there will be action. So we are going for Azure DevOps. Action event, we also have to manu manually pick. We hit continue. And now we have to sign into uh, our account. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.